Hi there. Welcome to the Hutchinson Art Center's online art camp. My name is Hannah Beam, and I'm going to be your instructor today. Today we're talking about how do artists make art? Well, every artist makes art in their own way. Every artist makes art a little bit differently, especially when they work with different media and materials. You have to work a little bit differently when you work with clay compared to when you work with paint or when you work with pencils. But there are a few things that most artists have in common. A lot of times they think something or feel something that they want to express. Remember, art is a creative and expressive activity. So artists rely a lot on their ideas. Artists also will then build their skills. They'll practice their art and work on craftsmanship, which just means they're able to use the media and materials in the way that they want to, to express or create what they have in their head the way they want to. So they have to have ideas and they have to build skills. Those are two of the basic things that artists do in order to actually make their art. Additionally, when artists create, they also refine and revise their ideas. So they might make a piece and then look at it and think about how it could be better and then make a piece similar to it and explore a similar idea and keep making a bunch of pieces about the same thing. So when you make art, you don't have to make your idea just one time. If you want to try to do it differently, you can revise and refine or change your idea a little bit to make it better. So one thing that comes up with art is when you make a mistake in an accident. What do you do? Is it ruined? It doesn't have to be. Today, our project is about making accidents on purpose. So what I did for my examples is I thought of some of the worst things that could happen to my art. I thought about how it could get smudged or spilled on or ruined or what if I colored it wrong? What if I used the wrong colors? What if I colored outside the lines? There's so many things that could go wrong with an art piece. What if I got crumpled or ripped or torn? Lots of different things. But just because those things happen doesn't mean that your piece is ruined. It actually kind of gives you a freedom with the piece to try something new. Because if you already feel like it's ruined, it can't get any worse, right? It can only get better. So with this piece, I used oil pastels and I smudged it all over the place and smeared it really bad. This piece got crumpled and scratched and all these weird colors were used together that don't really go together. But then after I made all those mistakes, I just went with it and had a lot of fun and added lots of colors and I scratched some textures on here and I had a lot of fun making it and I think it came out looking pretty cool. So I also messed up this watercolor piece. I spilled some water drops on it. I made these flowers weird colors and it used the wrong paper and it got really wrinkly. But again, I just had fun with it at this point. I used some Sharpies to outline my flowers and I added these colors in in other places to make it look like they belonged and I added more flowers. I even have flowers coming off the top and the sides of the page. That's not really where flowers come from, but it's super fun and I had a lot of fun creating it. For this piece, I used my left hand to draw because I'm not very good at drawing with my left hand. My lines are really shaky and things didn't really go where I want. I started out by drawing this dog and it came out a little bit funky. So I just added a bunch of other animals all around it and I think it came out looking kind of cool. It can go just about any direction. So for the project today, we're going to make some mistakes on purpose and see what we can do to make it work. So let's say I have this piece here and I'm gonna color with markers on this piece. Let's see, I'll use this color. So say I'm coloring, well, this isn't a very good marker, but that's okay, because we're talking about making mistakes on purpose. So first off, my marker's kind of out of ink. I'm just gonna go with it and see what kind of cool things I can do. It does make some pretty neat textures. And I'm also accidentally coloring over off onto this paper. Are either of these pieces ruined? I don't know. 
Let's see. I'm going to do some circle shapes. It's like a smiley face. Let's make this into a face. But the eyes are kind of big, aren't they? That's okay. It's just a funky face. So some kooky eyes. <laughs> we'll do red eyebrows. This piece of marker, this marker is kind of out of ink too, but I think that works really well for eyebrows. Kind of makes them look crazy and funky. I'll use some purple so we can see the mouth better. There. That's kind of fun. We might come back to that one. But now I got marker on this paper. So what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to work with it and see what we can do to make this a fun piece too. Okay. This, is the same. this one has more ink in it. Let's see. So I have some ink here. This piece is already kind of abstract, so maybe we'll just kind of go with that. Put my brown nose here for my dog. Because I already thought about this as a mistake and I'm like, oh no, I can do whatever I want to this piece and just try out some new things. Even if I'm not trying to make a really pretty piece, I can do some experiments with markers, with whatever media I'm working with. So with this one I'm using markers, so I can see what different things I can maybe do with markers to layer it and get some cool effects. Maybe we'll put some of the stripes back here. Let's throw some of this color in. Maybe we'll go back over here too. I think this guy needs a nose. So you don't even have to work on one piece at a time. You can work on multiple. Maybe I'll even use my left hand some more so I can see what other kinds of weird things I can get out of this. 
Oh no, that's neat. I like how these two colors overlap and create a new color in the middle. That's something fun that I didn't know before. So I'm going to do that in some more places because I like how that looks. So, with both of these pieces, I could keep going and keep experimenting and keep trying new things. Because even though I made a mistake, I now have the opportunity to try something new and maybe make it better, or I can just experiment with the materials and see what kind of new things I can find. Like how when I mixed these colors, they came out really cool. I wouldn't have known that before if I hadn't messed up the piece. So, remember, when artists make art, there's lots of different ways that they will work. They work with their ideas, they practice, and they explore and investigate. So, go out, make some mistakes on purpose with your art, try some new things, and see what you can do to explore and investigate, and have fun creating today.